this has absolutely nothing to do with hot tub construction. So why is it so important when it comes to hot tub construction? Let's find out. Hey folks, Bill here again from Hot Tub University. So what does a random piece of plumbing that came from a house have to do with hot tubs? Well, this is a piece of plumbing that you see in typical home construction. Now, let's say you're building a house and you have your plumbing done, so the plumbing inspector comes in and he sees this. What do you think is going to happen? He's going to fail your plumbing, which means your plumbing is going to have to be installed properly before it passes inspection. He's going to fail it because it has a missing clamp. The home building industry is regulated, so inspections are done at pretty much every step of the way, and a core component of a properly built plumbing system is clamps at every joint where a softer style hose is used. The hot tub industry, on the other hand, is not regulated, so manufacturers can do pretty much anything they want. This is a standard plumbing system that you'll find in pretty much every hot tub. You have a large two-inch two manifold where the water comes in. It gets distributed through the, to the jets through these hoses that run from the manifold up to the jet. Now, the problem with that is with hot water running through these hoses, the hoses are going to get softer. And water will work its way up between the hose and the barbed fitting on the jet up around here. Over time, that will cause the glue between the hose and the jet fitting here to break down. And in seven or eight years, you'll be dealing with the leak. And keep in mind that every jet in a hot tub will have two joints, one at the manifold, one at the jet. So that means if you have a hot tub that has, for example, 40 jets, you have 80 potential leak points. On the other hand, a properly clamped line is never going to leak. If you look closely at this end of the line, you can see where the clamp has actually created an impression in the hose. It's actually crimped it onto the jet fitting, and there is no way that water is going to work its way past this clamp. Water may eat away a little bit of the glue prior to the clamp, but it's not going to get to the glue under the clamp, and the glue past the clamp will never see water. The bottom line is this will never leak, unless you get a rodent inside your hot tub that chews through one of the lines, but that's a different story. Now, some manufacturers have moved away from standard vinyl hose with clamps towards a product called SureGrip. And this is simply slightly more rigid hose with a spiral reinforcement. And these hoses are better than unclamped vinyl, but make no mistake, even this type of hose without a clamp can't measure up to a properly clamped plumbing joint. The other thing is I've seen people add clamps to unclamped lines in the past using standard screw style hose clamps. Unfortunately, these clamps are really not all that effective for two reasons. Number one, if you look closely at a spring style clamp, you see how it pinches the hose in a really narrow area and that causes the hose to clamp securely onto the barb of the jet. With the screw type clamp, the clamp load is spread over a wider area and simply can't compress the line. The second issue is screw type clamps simply can't exert enough force on that joint. So even the screw type clamps, while better than nothing at all, is not going to be nearly as effective as a proper spring style clamp. So when you're out hot tub shopping, Tell the salesperson to pull a side off the hot tub and have a look for these clamps. If you don't see these spring type clamps on all the joints, then you're looking at a tub which is going to leak at some point, so it's time to look somewhere else. I'm Bill, this is Hot Tub University, have a great day.